Hey guys, so a classmate asked, what is networking in computer science and why is it important? To begin, computer networking is the study of how computers can be linked to share data. The internet can be used to connect different computer systems in this way, especially when the physical computers are located in different geographic locations. The concept of connected computers dates back to the 1960s when the Department of Defense led the first attempt to create a computer network that painstakingly linked a handful of computers around the United States. Since then, wireless networking has taken off and networking is now considered an essential part of computing. A computer without a network arguably has little use in daily life. There are three different types of networks, local area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. Local area network, or LAN, is a technique of interconnecting a few computers located in a given premise. The major purpose of such interconnectivity is to establish a communication system in order to make the work easier. A metropolitan area network, or MAN, is a system of network that normally covers a large metropolitan area. It provides high-speed internet services throughout the area covered within the network. A wide area network, or WAN, is a system of network that covers a large geographical area across the world. The services of WAN can be provided by both public slash governmental agencies, as well as private agencies. The network also provides the facility to access databases located remotely. Switches, routers, and wireless access points are the essential networking bases. Through them, devices connected to your network can communicate with one another and with other networks like the internet. A switch acts as a controller, connecting computers, printers, and servers to a network in a building or a campus. Switches allow devices on your network to communicate with each other as well as with other networks, creating a network of shared resources. Through information sharing and resource allocation, switches save money and increase productivity. There are two basic types of switches to choose from, on-premises and cloud-managed. A managed on-premises switch lets you configure and monitor your LAN, giving you tighter control of your network traffic. A cloud-managed switch can simplify your network management through a simplified user interface, multi-site full-stack management, and automatic updates delivered directly to the switch. The next device, a router, connects multiple networks together and acts as a dispatcher. They also connect commuters on those networks to the internet. Routers enable all network computers to share a single internet connection, which saves money. It analyzes data being sent across the network, chooses the best route for data to travel, and sends it on its way. Routers can protect information from security threats and can even decide which computers receive priority over others. Beyond those basic networking functions, routers come with additional features to make networking easier or more secure. Depending on your security needs, for example, you can choose a router with a firewall, a virtual private network or VPN, or an internet protocol IP communication system. An access point acts like an amplifier for your network, making it easier to bring new devices online and provides flexible support to mobile workers. While a router provides the bandwidth, an access point extends that bandwidth so the network can support many devices, and those devices can access the network from farther away. It can also give useful data about the devices on the network and provide proactive security. To create your own wireless network, you can choose between three types of deployment, centralized, converged, and cloud-based. Centralized deployment is the most common type of wireless network system and traditionally used in campuses where buildings and networks are in close proximity. This deployment consolidates the wireless network, which makes upgrades easier and facilitates advanced wireless functionality. Controllers are based on premises and are installed in a centralized location. Converged deployment is used for smaller campuses or branch offices, offering consistency in wireless and wired connections. This deployment converges wired and wireless on one network device through an access switch and performs the dual role of both switch and wireless controller. Finally, cloud-based deployment uses the cloud to manage network devices deployed on-premises at different locations. Now that we know what computer networking is, let's dive deeper into its importance. Computer networking has five major advantages. First, it facilitates technical support. Because of computer networking, a person sitting halfway across the world can provide technical support to someone else. Second, it allows for simpler sharing of data. With the help of networking, it is very simple to share all formats of digital data from one computer system to another, irrespective of their geographic location. It also allows for easy sharing of hardware resources. With the help of networking, we can share expensive resources with others, such as storage space, and we can also share software. Through the networking system, it is easy to share and install the software from one computer system to another computer system. Networking also decentralizes data processing, ultimately helping us to control, secure, and manage important data. 
And finally, networking facilitates easier communication through texting, video chatting, emails, and more. I hope this video helped you to learn more about networking and its importance in computer science.